very good afternoon and a very warm welcome to our side event at the 33rd Commission on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice here in Vienna. Also a warm welcome to our online attendees from all over the world. Thanks so much. Uh, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, uh, your excellencies, thank you for being here today. Uh, the name of our side event today is Strong Family and Essential Support for Healthy Development of Children and Youth a relevant factor in preventing criminal activity. So uh, we were excited to also notice that today is actually also the International Day of the Family. So a good day to promote the strength of the family <laughs> and how it benefits our societies. So without further ado, I would like to welcome our director of the Women's Federation for World Peace, UN Team Vienna office, uh, Dr. Maria Liu and she will give a word of greeting. Yeah. Thank you again for coming, dear friends, dear excellencies, and dear co-worker. Um, two days, now is third day of this big conference of uh, Commission on Crime Prevention and Social Justice. And first days, we listen to many, um, to reports from the, from the governments, and we could participate on some side events, huge associations how to deal with uh, crime. Today is a special day of the family. And today we, want, we wish to look at the smallest unit in our society, the family. What can family offer to the society? What can we, like parents, like mothers and fathers, and siblings, daughters, uncle and aunties, offer to the society that we, keep, we feel secure, we feel understood, <coughs> we can talk about our, our world, about our uh, <coughs> challenges, about everything what we, what we receive through newsletters, through information. We are living in a world where so many information are going around and on the end we <coughs> come together watching and listening to our children and asking them, how was your day? Mm -hmm. And on this way, we can learn to communicate with each other, we can learn to understand each other, and we can give the, the world of happiness and, and something very, very personal, what the common, the all kind of relationships we can learn and we can experience how to take care of each other. When children are hurt, hurt themselves, so they always look for somebody. Mama, where are you? Papa, please help me. So and we can hug them and we can put some plaster on, on the wound and we can say after a couple of days, until you get married, everything will be good. <laughs> so I listen. <laughs> So, greetings from uh, to you, and I give a break to you, family, that we can listen to, to the other speakers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maya, for your uh, words of greeting. Uh, the dynamics of the family, the beauty of it. Thank you so much. So, uh, we're going to go to the opening remarks, which will be extended by Your Excellency, Etsy Daryl Jenrin Migano. Thank you for being here, Ms. Migano. She's, she's the attache and assistant of the Permanent Mission of the Philippines. We want to thank the Mission of the Philippines for uh, um, supporting our side event. Thank you so much. And the questions. <coughs> to those who are joining us here today, as well as our participants online, let me wish you a good afternoon. I wish to convey my appreciation to the Women's Federation for World Peace for the invitation to be part of this important event on the margins of the 33rd session of the Commission on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice, CCPCJ. It is with great honor to open this afternoon's side event on a topic of profound significance, strong family and essential support for healthy development of children and youth, a relevant factor in preventing criminal activity. The family, often described as the cornerstone of society, 
plays a pivotal role in shaping the future of our children. It is within the family unit that children first learn about love, trust, and security. A strong family provides the emotional foundation that children and youth need to navigate the complexities of life. It is a source of unwavering support, guiding them through challenges and celebrating their successes. In today's fast-paced world, the importance of a stable and nurturing family environment cannot be overstated. Research consistently shows that children who grow up in supportive families tend to perform better academically, exhibit healthier behaviors, and develop stronger social skills. They are more likely to become resilient adults who contribute positively to society. As we explore this topic further, we will discuss how strong family bonds to foster a sense of belonging and self-worth in young individuals, the critical role of parental involvement in education, and the impact of family support on mental and emotional health. In the Philippines, our constitution provides the legal framework to support a strong family unit. Parents are fundamentally responsible for raising their child and providing the basic necessities of food, clothing, shelter, as well as ensuring the child's right to education and providing a safe environment for the child's physical, emotional, and psychological well-being are nurtured. The state may intervene in cases of neglect or abuse where the parents fail to meet their constitutional obligations. Together, let us reaffirm our commitment to strengthening family ties and ensuring that every child has the opportunity to thrive in a loving and supportive environment.